In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the only four ladder drills that you need in your training program. A lot of people overcomplicate the ladder, try to do the fanciest moves possible when those fancier ladder drills don't give you the moves that you're looking for. So this video is gonna show you the only four drills that you need to do on the ladder to be successful on the field. Let's get into the first one. The first ladder drill I'm gonna show you guys today is one foot in each going forward. This is super simple. And the one thing that I wanna make perfectly clear about this drill is that it does not improve your speed. No matter how fast you run through the agility ladder, it is not going to improve your speed. It's not gonna make you run faster. If you just do ladder drills, you're not going to improve your speed. Now that that's out of the way, this drill really helps with the coordination between your arms and your legs. When you're going one foot in each through the ladder, you're going through with rhythm and you're, you can focus on your arm drive while driving your legs forward. And what I like to do when I do the ladder is I try to do it in more of an acceleration way. So I'm attacking downward with my foot and sprinting off the end of the ladder. So with one foot in each going forward, we're not improving speed per se, we're really coordinating the arms and the legs to do better when sprinting. Ladder drill number two is two in each going sideways. Again, this is not gonna help us move side to side quicker. What this is doing is helping us with our body positioning. What I preach to kids when we do this drill through the ladder is making sure our hips stay square. When I see someone doing this wrong, it's when their hips are turned towards the end of the ladder and not turned straight ahead towards me while they're moving sideways. And so we don't wanna start turning towards where we're going. We wanna stay lateral because when we're moving side to side on the field, we want to stay square so we can react to an opponent's movements when we're defending them. And so when we're doing two in each going sideways, really focus on staying square, keeping the toes pointed forward, because that's really what help what the ladder does to help you in this situation is making sure everything's pointed the right way when you're moving side to side. Drill number three is everybody's favorite ladder drill, the icky shuffle. The kids go wild when we do this because it's fun, it's a cool pattern and everything, and you can really go fast with it once you know the pattern and you can get the rhythm of it. Again, this is not about getting your feet quicker. This is not about um, having the fastest feet in the world. What this really teaches is it helps you get on that outside foot when changing direction side to side. So put yourself in a position where you're a receiver trying to release off the line and you have to jab that foot to make a jab release off the line. Or if you're a defensive end and you're trying to get around an offensive tackle, this, this, the icky shuffle is really gonna help you get on that outside foot, shift your body weight onto each foot when you're changing direction. So that's what the icky shuffle is really helpful for. Drill number four is two in, two out. This one really helps with deceleration. Now, while most people who run through the ladder on this drill focus on, okay, we wanna do this as quick as possible, you do not wanna do it that way. You wanna focus on dropping your level every time you go through the drill so you can focus on putting your feet in front of you when trying to stop yourself. So the two in, two out, another big thing that you need to do here is you need to make sure you step in first with your front, your lead foot. Okay, you don't wanna cross your body with your back foot. So if we're going two in, two out right, down the ladder, we wanna step with our right foot in first. We don't wanna step across with our left foot because when we, whenever we get crossed up, we're not in a very good position to change direction and it's teaching us bad habits when moving laterally. So again, with the two in, two out, step in with your lead foot first, not your back foot first, and then really focus on dropping your level every time you do the two in, two out uh, and step into the ladder. So that'll, that's, that's about gonna do it for this video, guys. Really what I wanted to get across with this video is you don't need to get super fancy with the ladder. Okay, if you want to, go ahead, use your time that way. But if you have limited time training for football, I would highly recommend just focusing on the basics of the ladder, focusing on the basic movements, and, and, and putting your time into something else that has a little bit more bang for your buck in your training, whether it's strength, whether it's high speed sprinting, whether it's plyometrics, you would be much better served from a power and explosiveness standpoint by using plyometrics or sprints than doing a ladder. But if you do want to use a ladder, master these four drills and that's as far as you need to go. If this video helped you guys out, feel free to hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with a friend or a teammate or another coach or a parent. I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the community that's being built on the on cab training. 
Um, so thank you guys again for watching and let's get better today.